What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and today's video is super exciting because we're on a road trip up to Nashville to get a new puppy, which is probably one of the reasons you're here and watching today's video. But not only that, I stopped in Cookville, Tennessee to see one of my really good breeder friends. Her name is Whitney with Gravel Family Farms and she just fed us an amazing lunch and we've been seeing her beautiful property and I'm super excited to be sharing like her with you guys and showing you guys and just being able to meet a amazing breeder friend in real life. It's really insane. We've been talking nonstop. It's days like today. I just wish I lived near friends like this, but yeah, today's an exciting video because you're going to get to meet one of my amazing breeder friends, see the new puppy we get, and I'm just super excited for today's video. So if you're new here, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below and let's go meet with you. All right, guys, so Matt's here with me, obviously, but here's my friend, Whitney. Hello. So tell them about your program or what your name of your program is so they can follow you on Instagram. I'm going to leave a link to her Instagram down below. You guys need to go follow her. <laughs> so our, our uh, business is Gravel Family Farm, and uh, we've, let's see, we've been breeding for about two years. Yep. And um, it's really neat how Bailey and I have just connected through breeding and have become good friends. So we got a new baby. Look, she's doing it all. She breeds, has three babies. And listen, I came home from the hospital. Oh yeah, this is a good one. To 18 puppies mm -hmm. in my house. <laughs> With that baby right there. With this one. But you survived. We did. <laughs> so she was gracious enough <laughs> to let us come over and stop on our way to Nashville. And she cooked us an amazing lunch, which was yeah. a lot better than any kind of fast food we could have gotten because I'm not a big fast food person anyway. <laughs> and we got to see this little baby. He's Comment down below if he's the cutest baby ever because we know he <laughs> is. So it's just really awesome, the breeder community. This is the one thing I love about being a breeder and meeting amazing friends through this all because it's hard to make friends, I feel like, in today's time. So yeah. being able to have virtual friends, but then that you also get to meet in person is super fun. <laughs> yeah. it's, um, it's been so fun being here. Their property is literally insanely gorgeous. I'm trying to convince Thank her to start you. a YouTube channel. So if you think Whitney <laughs> should join the YouTube Doodle Fam, comment down below because I definitely think she should. But I think we're going to hang out a little bit longer and then i'll talk to you guys in a little bit like letting them out in free range they're so much healthier mm -hmm. eggs are better mm -hmm. <laughs> in your dog look at her dog barn she's building you guys this is gonna be for her puppies how many litters you got coming up we have four litters coming up in white and juice this is stunning Two gardens last year is what she said. Put me in the country with the dogs, the chickens, the babies, and I am set. So I'm gonna leave her Instagram here on the screen and link down below. You guys should definitely go follow her, especially if you're into mini golden doodles because she does quite a bit of minis. I know I don't do as many minis or even do minis at all, and a lot of people are always asking about minis, but definitely check her out. She's fabulous and one of the nicest people I've ever met. So it was so much fun. Now we're headed to Nashville and we're going to spend the next couple days in Nashville just kind of hanging out. And then Friday, we're going to be meeting another awesome breeder and picking up a new family member. So I'll probably pick the vlog back up then because I'm not going to like vlog our actual Nashville stay. Might do a couple clips here and there and put them in there or in this video. But for the most part, we are going to just do the dog part of this trip. So super fun day so far though. Did you have fun, babe? 
their their property was just like insane you can't help but love it so we're gonna head to nashville and catch with you guys in a little bit All right, guys, we are on our way home from Nashville, super duper early. It's eight o'clock now, and I've got somewhere to be today at four. We've got something exciting happening tonight, so it's a crazy day, but I wanted to come in here and show you guys our reasoning for coming to Nashville. Hi, puppy. So we just picked up another future stud for Rosemary Doodles, and I'm so excited about him, you guys. He is a dream genetically. He's beautiful. He comes from an amazing breeder with amazing just values and personality and just doing everything that we like to see in our puppies. And I'm just super excited. So we just met them and picked him up. They drove him all the way from New Mexico for us, you guys. Like great, fantastic people. So very thankful for that. But I'm going to focus on us getting home and making this six hour road trip and making sure he stays good. And then I'll probably vlog again, probably not tomorrow because I have to work, but Sunday and update you guys and give you all the info on him. So stay tuned. puppy in the mirror we just got home I have to hurry up and get ready for a rehearsal dinner I have to go to but he has the zoomies come on look <laughs> he loves playing with toys so we've got a lot going on the rest of the day so I am going to focus on getting ready dealing with him and then I'm going to vlog more tomorrow morning and kind of finish out the vlog don't lick yourself on camera <laughs> Finish out the vlog. Hey! Finish out the vlog. Show you guys a little bit better clips of him. As well as talk about how our first night went. And then I'm also going to tell you guys his name. So, we'll catch back with you tomorrow. Ain't that right? Hey! Oh, you sweet baby. Hey dudes, good morning. Today is Monday. I wasn't able to vlog a ton with the new puppy this weekend because on Saturday I had a wedding that I was coordinating and then yesterday me and the hubs just kind of took the day to kind of relax and just chill after the crazy week that we had with going to Nashville and then me having to work a wedding. Matt also had some things he had to do this weekend with family. So it's just been a crazy time since we got our new puppy. But today, I actually have the new puppy and Oakley over for a play date. So I'm going to show you guys them here soon. And then in a little bit, I'm going to also announce the new puppy's name. Let you guys know what his new name is. And then later, we also have his vet appointment. And then he's going to his guardian family. But super excited to be adding this puppy to our program between him and Oakley and Briggs. Literally, I have everything that I could have ever wanted. So yeah, let me show you guys him and Oakley playing because it's super cute. Boys, you see him? Ah! <laughs> and of course, we're getting super dirty. Wrestle, wrestle. Hey, <gasps> look at how big Ugly's gotten. But he's honestly not even that big. They're loving having someone their own size to play with, huh? Y'all getting tired already? Nope. Oh, bam. Ow. Making a mess. They're getting so dirty. Especially ugly with his what? Come on. Come on. Bup, 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 puppy. Bup, 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 puppy. Ugly's like, get off me. Come on. In the dirt. 
and the red dirt. Alright, so they're probably going to continue that, but I'm going to try to take her in the house to continue because they're getting muddy and I really want to get a cute little reel and some photos of the two boys. So we're going to go inside and maybe let the big dogs out as well because I just got home from getting Oakley. But yeah, super exciting day planned having both the boys here and then with um, the new puppies at bed appointment. But I will talk to you guys in a little bit when I go to introduce the new pup. All right, guys, we are in the studio. I'm about to do some pictures of the boys. But first, before we get started, Oakley's going to want attention. This is Cooper with a K. So Cooper with a K and then Rip. So I actually chose his middle name Rip because I love Yellowstone. And his guardian family chose Cooper with a K because the guys, oh, there's Oakley's tail. The guys in their family have like K first names. So this is Mr. Cooper. Rip, let me see if we can get closer. Cooper, look. He's looking at Oakley. So this is Cooper. He should be around the medium to small standard size, most likely small standard. Sorry, this is so bright. Um, But he's an F2 golden doodle. He has about 50% golden retriever in him. So a really good variety of, or percentage of golden retriever, which I'm super excited about because it's really rare to get that good of a percentage I feel like of golden retriever and golden doodles especially ones that are FF so he is FF for furnishings which means he carries two furnishing jeans which are the fluffy parts in front of their face he also carries minus minus coat which means he has a straight coat so Oakley is wavy Cooper is straight so that means paired with a poodle who's plus plus he'll have all puppies with wavy coats or minus minus coats which are super duper pretty they're like really teddy bear like so it's like the full doodle look but without the curl and the maintenance of super duper curly coats so i'm super excited about that i've been searching for that for a long time he also is an 8 out of 10 intense red so oakley's 10 out of 10 and he is 8 out of 10 and then he also carries brown which means paired with the right female he can throw puppies with brown noses um and then he also they're getting and he also carries phantom. So paired with a black female that carries phantom, they can have phantom puppies. So he carries a lot genetically. He's like a genetic dream. He is SS, which means he's solid. So I wanted to find a solid puppy to pair with my tuxedo or party females to get puppies that look like Oakley essentially without having a ton of party puppies because I find just in my research and watching other breeders that party puppies, which are the mainly white with some red puppies, don't tend to sell as well or as quickly. And of course we only want to produce, you know, what's going to sell well, just because like we don't want, you know, to be producing puppies where the demand's not there, you know, that would be irresponsible. So that's Cooper and of course Oakley's well. Hey, come here boys. Come here. They're both super playful. So here's an update on Oakley. I just actually cut his eyes. He's getting so big. Look, Oakley. Look. Look. So here's Oakley. Hi buddy. They want to play. So here's Oakley for instance. Come here, Cooper. Cooper, come here. Okay, well, he's not going to come here, but this is Oakley. For instance, Oakley is like super long-legged and just like super leggy boy and very skinny and scrawny. Hi, thank you. Whereas Cooper is actually very like stocky and blocky, which Oakley has more poodle, which makes sense. And Cooper has a lot of golden trooper, so definitely makes sense that they would, you know, have like those different characteristics. Okay, so between these two boys, I kind of want to play. But between these two boys, like, and Briggs as well, I really have everything a breeder could want genetically. So, super excited about them two. So, yeah, that's Cooper. I'm going to let them boys play for a little bit, and then it's time for me to try and get some Instagram content with the two of them. I want some photos and some reels, so I'll try to set you guys up while we do that. It's probably going to take quite a while, but I want them to run their energy out like they're doing right now. <laughs> Look at this. So they're about a month apart in age. You can tell how much taller Oakley is. Hi puppies. Oh, Cooper's very sassy too and playful. Hi.
So I'm gonna let them play and then hopefully get some Instagram content. All right, guys, that was a lot more difficult than it, well, honestly, not that much more difficult than I expected. I figured trying to get a picture of the two of them, come on, together would be difficult and I was right, but I did snag one photo of them together and both looking and then a couple videos, so I'm gonna try to make it work, but it's one o'clock now and I have to leave here before two to get Oakley back to his mom's work. He goes to work with her literally like every single day, living the best life. So I want to, good boy Cooper, good potty. I want to um, figure out the laundry. I need to start a little laundry. Actually, I probably don't, I don't know what I need to do. Basically, I gotta get all of Cooper's stuff ready to go and put in the, the dog see us, so they're barking put in the car so I can take it with us to the vet and to his guardian because I'm dropping him off at the guardian's house today. Gotta take Oakley back. So yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. The pups have had quite a good day today playing together and having a lot of fun. It was super nice to be able to introduce you guys to um, Cooper, Cooper Rip, and also for you guys to see Oakley again and see how much he's grown, but I'm probably going to end it for right now, and then I'll try to vlog some clips of Cooper at the vet, but besides that, I'll catch up with you guys after, like, at the vet, and then possibly at his guardian home. All right, we're off to take Oakley back to his mom's, and Cooper to the vet and his guardian home. Off we go. All right guys, Cooper and I, uh, he's back there in his kennel. Just made it to the vet. You guys know the drill, we're here all the time. So we're a little bit early, so I'm going to go ahead though and run in and get all his paperwork in the system with his vet records and all that from the breeder. And then we'll have our exam and all that and then off to the guardian home. But I'll take my phone in and try to get some vlog clips of his exam and everything, but I'm gonna leave the camera in the car and catch up with you guys in a little bit. In the bed. Hi, buddy. Yeah, good boy. He's so awake. All right, guys. I've got the air blasting because it's so hot. But Cooper and I just finished at the vet. He got a perfect bill of health, and I also went ahead and scheduled his pin hip exam for June. So make sure all that's good. Go ahead and get that out of the way. So I knew he'd be perfect, and it's always good to hear though from my personal vet. But we're off to his guardian home. They're actually like five minutes from our vet, which is amazing and super convenient for not only me, but for them. So yeah, here we go. I am home. I officially dropped off Cooper at his guardian home. I stayed for quite a while because I'm actually like related to his guardian mom. So we were just catching up, talking, playing with the kids and just having a really good time. But I always get pretty sad when I drop off a guardian after they've spent a few days with me because I get pretty attached really easily. But I know he's in great hands. He's got two amazing kids that are going to love him. It's actually their first dog they've ever had. And I know how special like a kid's first dog is to them so I know he's going to be loved and cherished and taken such good care of and I'm gonna be able to see him pretty often they literally live five minutes from my vet which is so nice but yeah I am just now about to start some dinner it's 6 40 so it's really late and normally we've ate by now but like I said, I stayed at the Guardian's house quite longer than I expected just hanging out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe because we've got some fun puppy content coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.